week series in the dining room of Jay Gilbert's off Metcalf in Overland Park and exec executive chef Ruben Rosales joins me now. Ruben, you've been part of the business since its beginning 17 years ago and participated in Restaurant Week every year. Why is this so important? Well, first of all, thanks for uh, choosing us uh, and uh, as we are all excited because Restaurant Week uh, gives us the opportunity to bring some new guests to our restaurant mm -hmm. and uh, we also like to uh, because we can help for a good cause, which is the harvestings. And um, we always ready for the restaurant week and uh, we're so excited. It's great for business and it's also for a great cause. I got a chance to look at the restaurant week menu and it is pretty hearty. Lots of great dishes on there. Um, talk a little bit about what people can experience when they come here. Well, um, we know for uh, our steaks, we are a steak house. 75% of our menu is a Steaks, but we offer some seafood as well. Uh, on this specific menu for Restaurant Week, we have some dishes that uh, they go from uh, our steaks, uh, pork chops, seeded scallops, some great salmon. Uh, you can choose from salads and soups, and we have uh, a good selection of desserts, which is okay. cheesecakes and velvet cakes. Okay, the seared scallops is uh, part of the seafood selection, and that's what we're going to make today. There are a lot of ingredients in this dish, correct? Correct. So what do we start with? Well, let's start talking about the risotto. Uh -huh. See, risotto is kind of hard to cook because it takes it's a long process. Very challenging. Uh, it's challenging. You know, you, you gotta kind of let it cook slowly, like when you're cooking rice. So uh, you can you get you, re, you can go to the grocery store and get any kind of risotto. Uh, the first thing you do, you wanna make it the base, which we already make today for this dish. Okay. Um, and uh, this gets some onions and garlic, olive oil. Let it saute for a little while. Uh, add the risotto kind of toss the risotto a little bit, throw some water, and just let it cook. And About you, 30 minutes, you'd say? 30 minutes, probably, uh, okay. be the average. And you just add a little water at a time and just keep them stirring and stirring. Moving on to the scallops, how do we cook the scallops? Well, this is specific scallops. Uh, they, can, they come from uh, the George Bank. Uh, we have a proverb that we buy uh, the scallops from Boston, and we flew the scallops to Kansas City two times a week. Oh. Um, it, since when, when you buy great ingredients, uh, all you have to do is just season it right and cooking it simple. Okay. So um, on these scallops, what we're going to do is just put some salt and pepper, olive oil, and sear it on both sides. Okay. And um, when you say sear, how long do you keep it on both uh, sides? This depends on the heat of the pan. But oh. if we keep the, the heat of the pan on the medium, they probably take like four four minutes on one side and another two on the other side, and they'll okay. be ready. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we've got this salad. You know, you said every dish here at Jay Gilbert's has a starch and a vegetable. The vegetable in this case. Fennel salad? Yes, the best one in this uh, particular dish is uh, a little shaved fennel salad with this just uh, with a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, and so uh, um, lemon juice and salt and sugar. And uh, seeing as the thing that we uh, we trying to offer the starch and the vegetable with every dish, so we can give it some more value on our menu. Okay. The, the the risotto and, and this entire dish has a lobster base, though. Can you tell me a little bit more about that base? How do you make that base? Okay, uh, the base is uh, basically you can get any uh, shellfish, uh, uh, like a shrimp or a lobster, and just put it in the water with a lot of, uh, uh, you can put celery, onions, uh, and uh, carrots, some water, let it boil in, and kind of squish all the juices out of the Easy shellfish, enough. yes. Easy enough. E yes. And it makes for a very flavorful, rich dish. Yes. And this is what it looks like when it's all said and done. This is the seared scallops. This, mm -hmm. You will find this on the Restaurant Week menu. Um, and we also have another gorgeous dish here. This is also on the, the menu on Restaurant Week, correct? Yes, it is on the menu, which is uh, our pork chop, which is mesquite grill with the mustarda uh, on the top, which is kind of chutney with raisins and, uh, and cherry. Okay. And we have our traditional, uh, you can go, uh, I'm sorry, al gratin potatoes with the broccolini. Very good. I'm going to try this, these scallops. What would you say is your favorite part about this dish? Uh, this dish in particular, I like the uh, the crispy of the scallops with the 
with the fennel. The okay. fennel is my favorite. The fennel. Farm. Yeah. And, and, all, and these are all ingredients you can find at your grocery store, correct? Yes, yes, you can. Yes, you can. To make the blonde, it's just. It's a simple uh, process where you just put the, uh, some chalice in the champagne and the pan and let it reduce the alcohol and uh, throw some butter in there and it's a little bit of cream and, and just mix it up wow. and you make the sauce. It is absolutely delicious, especially that risotto. Now, Restaurant Week has a total of more than 120 participating restaurants as of right now. It begins January 18th through the 27th. Again, we're at Jay Gilbert's in Overland Park. Ruben, thank you so much for joining us. Um, restaurant week, $15 for lunch, $30 for dinner. It's sure to be a great way to try out any restaurants that you've never been to. We will have the recipe for the scallop dish on our website at kctv5.com.